John's Boys versus Power Group. Let's get into it, man. Salute, salute, salute to all my generals, all my lines, all my real men, all my princesses, all my queens, all my lionesses. Y'all already know what it is, man. Hit the like, share, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Kind of the same facts, never cat. As y'all see, I'm on my life bullshit. I'm out. And I got a real one for y'all. Like a real, real one. You know, when it comes to St. John's, South Bronx, and Power Rule, South Bronx, a lot of a lot of details I can't get into. Because a lot of body crap. A lot of people die. You know, and there's no statute of limitations. I gotta be, you know, I gotta, I gotta drive around the curve type shit because I really can't get into too many details because a lot of the, the shit that, that I know, that I know for a fact, I mean, it, it, it revolves around, you know, you know, all right, Peter White Boy John, for me, like, I knew White Boy John, um, definitely older than me, I was a young man, but I knew him. And I heard and I know about that situation. It's details I can't get into. Um, Maximum Rob, <laughs> it's a different story, and we thought it's a different story. Because, I mean, at the end of the day, these are individuals that, you know, I, I, as far as we thought concerned, I believe he's still alive. I don't know about Maximum Rob, but, you know. Maximum Rob was called Maximum Rob for, for a reason. He was the first dude in the Bronx to pull up, pull up, all chromed out. Maximum, the box body back then. It wasn't the bubble, it was the box. But he had it lit. He had it, he had it. Maximus, they just came, they was just literally like popping off like that. He was one of the first ones. South Bronx to pull up with a brand new Maximum. Like, literally. He had a already tents on it, frames on it, all stickers on the side. You know what I mean? Saying Max Rob and all that. Like, he. he <laughs> Maximum Rob was about that life. And and those shits was like Benz's back then to keep it a stack with y'all. Like, it was. You know what I mean? Because not everybody had one. Playing, playing period. Not everybody had one. So let's get into it. 52 Park. It's right across the street from St. John's. Power Rule. They had war with St. John's boys. And these dudes literally lived like two blocks up the street. On the opposite side of 52 Park. Like literally. On Kelly on back. And there was a, a Kelly on I me. Mean, and they literally was two blocks away, two, three blocks tops. And at the end of the day, those was getting money over there. They was making moves over there. But the problem was everybody was really making their moves and making all their money in St. John's. So as long as they was in St. John's making that bread, there was a problem. So the situation I'm about to get into right now and tell y'all about right now, nobody got killed, so I can talk about it, right? So let's get into it. So it was definitely summertime, right? And everybody's outside, right? Something popped off on back. And something popped off over there where one of the workers, or more than one of the workers, it was a couple of workers got robbed, right? And I'm talking about like Paul Rue crew. Like like two or three of their workers got robbed. Like literally, like back to back, right? <laughs> Shit, you know what? Fuck it, why not? White boy John ran down on that block. And white boy John, he went, he ran down on all the pitches on that block. 
pictures of me and people that was I mean, selling the cracks, you know? And he ran down on each, every one of them that was on that block and made them cough up everything they had. Let me get that. Give me that, give me this. 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 White boy John did that to like, like the whole block. The whole block. He, he literally backed down the whole block. One by one though. I'm not sitting here saying he just pulled it out and everybody was in one location or one spot, no. It was all on different corners. But he ran down on each individual corner and backed all of them niggas down. And white boy John at this time was like one of the main dudes. Like dudes know who he is. So he literally went on the block where power rules at and shut the whole block down, basically. So he goes over there, he does that. And he pulls back to St. John's. You know, at the end of the day, when the big dogs find out from Power Room what took place, they ain't they feelings. They're like, yo, what? This nigga, he did what? 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 <laughs> they ain't they feelings. Now keep in mind, all these individuals are not far from us. Like, they literally like two, three blocks away. So, what happens? These dudes, you know, load up, lock and low. Like, yo, we pulling up on St. On St. John's. And we running down on them niggas, point blank period type vibes, right? And that's what they did. But on be to them, white boy John was already knew he knew that's what they was gonna do. And he literally had everybody on deck right in front of the buildings. Like literally everybody, all the shooters was on deck in front of the buildings. And there was, there was the, the ratchets was on deck. So you know, back then, like, I mean, there's not cameras everywhere, so you don't see everything, but you can definitely see motherfuckers coming from that block to this block. And they see them coming. Like, literally, they see them coming. And as they pulling up to the front of St. John's, you got the whole SJB, St. John boys, Beetle, um, Howie, White boy John, Frankie, um, Chino, um, Tone, um, like you had the whole, like that whole, the whole, the block was on deck, man. Car, car, but car was the crazy shit with car is that car was actually from Beck, and he was kind of like he lived in Beck Avenue. And he literally was rocking with St. SJB, St. John's boy. But he was a power rule. He was lived in the power rule neighborhood. But anyway, so they pulling up and the shooters is on deck. I keep the shit in mind, bro. It's the summertime and it's broad daylight, bro. The goats is coming deep as fuck. Like you see them, it's a whole group, you know what I'm saying? And the minute they start getting to 52 Park, they start approaching, they start getting a little closer, and dudes just, they, they, they start talking to each other from across the street, screaming at each other, actually. Not really talking, like, yo, what the, ah, what the fuck y'all niggas, what y'all, oh, they going at it. And it's literally like, almost like, 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 if I was to paint a picture, if I was an artist, and I could really paint a picture, it really, like, literally looked like a group of people across the street talking shit to people on the other side of the street. And the people on the opposite side are by a park. And the people on my side are by the um, apartment that we live in, the tenements that we live in. And that's the block, St. John's. And literally, bro, literally, I don't know who was the one 
They let off the first shot. But all I know is that the shot was fired. Pop. And once that shot was fired, twin. <laughs> bro. Bullets was flying. I'm talking about, I'm talking about uh, uh, all out shootout. Like, uh, all out shootout in broad daylight in the South Bronx, New York City. Right in front of 52 Park, St. John's, 950 Avenue, St. John's. That's where I was at. And I'm literally, I, I see all of this, twin. I'm at the window. I'm like literally out. I'm, I'm seeing all of this to the point where. I had to drop down because I knew bullets was flying everywhere, twin. Like literally, like bullets was flying everywhere. And you got a whole block of Puerto Rican hills that can live three blocks up the street, trying to light up the block on St. John's. And then you got everybody in St. John's trying to light them up. And it rose a, a whole shootout for at least. Five minutes, like literally, blunts, bullets was flying and hitting windows, hitting concrete, hitting floors, hitting garbage cans, hitting everything. Bullets was flying everywhere, right? For at least a couple of minutes. I don't, I, I, a couple of minutes. I more than a minute. I know it was more than a minute. It was mad shots, bro. It was like, like a war zone. It was really going in like that. It was, and these niggas and back then. It was deep on Uzis. Uzis was the shit in Mac 10. And that's all you heard. All you, all you heard was Uzis and Mac 10s getting let off. And finally, they start toning down, I guess, when they run out of bullets and they start retreating. The crazy shit is that in that whole entire shootout, nobody got killed. But numerous of people got shot, like numerous, like it was, it was, it was, it was, a lot of dudes got shot. Nobody got killed, but a lot of people got shot. A lot of people went to Lincoln Hospital, you know what I mean, that day, because it was a fucking crazy shootout. It was a crazy shootout. It was a, a straight Wild Wild West shootout, like, and dudes is pulling out Uzis and <laughs> Mac 10 is like, who just laying it off? Yeah, there wasn't no ARs and all that. <coughs> but they was they was letting it off, bro. And that literally happened. And it happened with my eyes wide open and we seen the whole shit unfold in front of my very eyes. So St. John's Harbor Rule. I ain't up on them. Google it. Literally. Google. St. John's Boys versus Power. Whoop, literally. And you're going to see a lot of shit. You know what I mean? Salute to own Billy Bathgate. I don't know why he don't want to chop it up with me. I heard he got a podcast coming up. And he's doing his own thing. I'm like, I definitely would love the um, opportunity to chop it up with him because Billy Bathgate, for those of y'all that don't know, he's one of the ones that was involved in that whole Valentine's Day massacre, but not one of the perpetrators that, that killed that family. He's basically one of the ones that went on a revenge hunt, you know, and really, really, really like sacrificed his whole life. To, to to basically revenge his own bro. I mean Edwin. Salute to Edwin. I mean I I, I know Edwin, I knew Edwin, I, look, I used to look up to Edwin, so at the end of the day, salute to Billy Bathgate. Holla at me twin. But y'all already know what it is, man. SJB, St. John's boys, Power this shit's been crazy. I promise you, man, shit is going about to come off and pop off. I'm going to be involved in all of you. See, I already know what it is, man. Salute, salute, salute to all my generals, on my lions, on my bro, man, on my queens, on my princesses, on my lionesses. This lion's in, man. Boom, boom, boom. Let's go.
go.